Okay everyone, so I'm at Richmond American Homes in Haines City at Scenic Terrace. At richnotohomes.com, find the house you're looking for in Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee area. Are you interested in a full-time living residential house or a vacation home? Investing in a rental income property? Thinking about selling your home? Look no further than richnotohomes.com. Dependable help from start to finish. Don't make a mistake along the way. Go to richnotohomes.com. And I'm standing in the doorway instead of outside in this model because it's raining. Well, it's kind of like heavy misting, and I just figured like the mist is going to get on the lens of the camera. So, as I always say in my videos, or at least in my recent videos, you know, always try to find yourself a realtor that has construction training in a, in a uh, construction background of some sort. You know, don't settle for someone who's only a realtor because let's face it, when you're building a house, or even if you're purchasing a used resale house, the construction process being able to help you spot issues um, and defects, you know, that's very important. So, you know, don't miss out on that. You know, don't settle for just anyone. So this house is a two-story. Wow, it's getting heavier rain. Let me come in a little bit more. This house is a two-story from Richmond American. Oh, my shoes are a little wet. I'm, I'm, I'm sliding a bit. It's really nice. I haven't really seen the inside. I just kind of saw like the entryway over here. So when you first walk in, you know, this is what you see. I'm standing over here and I do like this. I like here over to the left, we got this really fancy room, which wait until you see the rest of it, what it's attached to, should I say. So you have a sink over here and uh, I believe I, t I was told that it's gonna come with at least the plumbing for over there, or if it doesn't come over there, it's gonna be up in the laundry room or something like that. But, you know, listen, anytime you purchase a house, you always have to have an understanding of what you get at the time of contract. So, you know, that's one of the many things that I do for you along the way, and there's tons of stuff. So here we have a bedroom, which I thought was pretty awesome. So this would be like a great um, uh, house for somebody that might have like an older uh, family member living with them. So if you got an older family member, something like this would be fantastic because they'd have a full bathroom. As you could see, full bathroom. And then they would have this bedroom, which is a pretty large bedroom. And then if you want them to have this room as well, they can have this room too. So, I mean, I think it's just fantastic. As I always do say as well, please always contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose or void your right to a paid for by the builder realtor representation. So we've got our storage underneath the stairs. And remember, it doesn't cost you anything to have me represent you. The builder pays for it, which makes it free to you. It doesn't increase the price of your home or any of that other nonsense that you might have heard from somebody else or stuff like that, or it just doesn't. You gotta be careful with all the things you hear. Although sometimes people just think it in their heads, they just imagine it, they can't understand. <laughs> and that's totally different. So here we got this great room. I was gonna say it's a, it's a great room. It's like a, a, a great room. <laughs> So yeah, you can see it's just a nice long room and it's got nice width to it too. Kind of just a big rectangle. Kind of get the camera up a little higher so you can get a little bit better, better view of it. I mean, look at all the cabinets you have. And my understanding is that it's gonna come with the quartz as well. But there are a lot of upgrades in here too. So just always keep that in mind. Let's take a look at your covered patio, the covered uh, lanai. That says construction office, so I'm not gonna go in there. It's probably the garage. What a great pantry, look at that. So when you step in, you step in, you can either go to the right, you can go to the right, or you can go to the left. 
And this is a nice um, uh, area to walk in from the garage. So let's head upstairs. So I got a nice landing over here. So then you go up another step and you got this really fantastic, fantastic area. Nice big loft. I'm going to go to the right. Just a beautiful house overall. Here's your toilet, and here's your closet. Okay, so I was originally, I gotta get the closet cam out for this one, because this, this is one of the largest closets I've ever seen. I wonder what the uh, square footage of this house was on the side, because this house, this house is really big, and this this room, I mean, I mean, this could be a room easily. So this would be a great closet if, like, you had a small child, a baby or something, and you wanted to keep the baby close to you. I mean, you could easily put the crib over there, or uh, potentially on the other side. So. Um, Wow, I'm, I'm in shock by this, it's beautiful. I like big closets, because I like homes that have storage. All right, look at that. So when I was saying look at that, I was kind of saying look at that because of these tiles. I don't think I've ever seen tiles like this before. Um, you know, they're kind of small. A lot of rectangles. Nice though, different. And the toilet in the closet room. And you got a nice big towel closet. And back to your master bedroom. Great loft, really it is. And full bathroom. And then we have another bedroom. This is a big house, there's no doubt about it. I feel like this has to be like 3,000 square feet at least. So, closet. Richmond American Homes did a nice job on this floor plan. And here's a bedroom. And here's another bedroom. So this bedroom is is definitely a um, smaller bedroom, or should I say, smaller for for uh, the other um, for the size, or should I say, smaller in comparison to the other rooms in this house. But this laundry room, look at that, jeez, that's a big laundry room. And oh wow, that's a big closet. All right, so who is this house for? Well, for somebody that wants a laundry room with extra cabinets. Now, the house is probably not going to come with the cabinets, so just keep that in mind. But if you did want to put them in in the future, you know, you definitely have the space for it. 
And as you can see, there's a sink in here as well. So even without the sink, which might not come with it either, um, you, know, you know, there's just tons of space in this laundry room. And it's nice that there's a bedroom over here as well. So maybe if somebody needs a location that's a little bit more quiet, that might be a good place. You got a big bedroom over here. You got your full bathroom. And um, the loft, let me switch hands. And the loft is a fantastic loft. So let's see, we got one bedroom down there, two, three. So we got three uh, bedrooms on this side of the house. And the master bedroom makes four. So you got four bedrooms on the second floor, plus that first floor had that really excellent, I guess kind of like a suite. So really, again, uh, you know, my take on this house is it's, it's fantastic because if you had a relative that's older, you know, or maybe you have a child or something that wants, uh, you know, a larger room or needs a larger room. And when I say by child as well, you know, it could be something, you know, it could be someone that's in like their twenties that, you know, kind of want more privacy, their own uh, bathroom and then their own room and stuff like that. I mean, at the end, that's like, that's like them having their own apartment for sure. And uh, the kitchen is fantastic because when you look at all the cabinets that, that this kitchen has, I mean, that's a lot of cabinets. And then you got the uh, covered patio, the lanai, which you can see how, how badly it's raining out there now. Well, maybe you can't, but it is, it's coming down. Um, you know, it's nice, it's um, nice and large, the lanai. So, really great house, I like it. I don't have any complaints about this house and I, and I do really love this, this section over here. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day. All right, so I'm going to be moving quick to the next model because it's raining and I don't want to ruin my hair. And this house is the, this is the slate, 2,070 square feet. Oh, the, the ammo light was the other one and it's 3,030 square feet. Boy, I'm good with estimating home sizes. So let's go in. This is a Richmond American Homes over in Payne City at Scenic Terrace. And now let's go in, camera's getting wet. Is there any water on the legs? So off to the right, you got a full bedroom. What should I what should I just say a bedroom? Because I usually say a full bathroom. Because <laughs> I don't know what a half a bedroom would be. So this would be your your half bathroom. It's a big one too. I mean, I feel like in the future if you really wanted to. With a lot of work, you could probably fit a shower in here. That's a big one. And here we have a paper towel closet. small uh, coat closet and let's see sales office is here to the left so I'm not going to be going in there there's a bedroom and a full bath and a closet oh it's a step-in closet too look at that Here's your laundry port. Those washer and dryers are big. Look at that. So 2,000 square feet.
So the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room. And it looks like there's a lot of cabinets. Just from here, anyway. Looks like there's a lot of cabinets in this kitchen. And here's the covered patio, uh, the lanai, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so over here, this is a big closet. Wow, it's a big square. And the master bedroom. Very soft carpeting, very nice padding, very soft. One of those outside, there's some kind of bird. Let's see. Wow, oh, there's a ton of them outside. Look at that. Oh, those crows. All right, back to the house. A little bit of nature there for you. And I actually love seeing like, uh, you know, animals out in the wild. So it's always nice to see something, especially here in Florida, you know, you, you see some pretty cool looking birds. So over here you can see you got your two sinks or the double vanity, whatever you want to call it. And here's your closet. And there's your shower. So let's talk about this house on the way out. Who is it for? So I think that if you want a master bedroom that's a decent size, and you're not looking for a huge house because this house is like 2,000 square feet. This is pretty nice, I have to say. I think that the bathroom is a good size and you know the layout of it is perfectly fine. So, you know, in this bathroom, there's some there's some good room. You know, I got my arms extended along with a selfie stick. So you can see there's some nice space in there. So like if two people were in there, it really shouldn't be a, a problem. Um, you got this master closet, which is pretty large and you could actually turn it into like another bedroom if you needed it in that sense. Now the, um, the kitchen and living room and dining room is kind of nice because it's kind of like a little bit different. You know, it's, it's not like it's like all like one like rectangle or whatever. So it kind of feels like it's separated a little bit or well, maybe it's just uh, the area rug that's on the floor over here that's doing that for me could be so um i don't know if i took a look at the pantry or not ah so this is one of those pantries that you know you could step in and then you could step in the other way i'll get the camera in here so there's really two ways to uh to uh, take your food and stuff off of the shelves when you walk in I like that. That's nice. And there's a lot of countertop space. It's got all this and then everything over here, plus that little one as well, plus your island. So if the kitchen's important to you as well, that's a good thing. Now let's just continue because over here, over here you have a bedroom and the laundry room. So for somebody that might need a little bit more um, uh, privacy, that might be good. And then, of course, there's a bedroom over here in front, which shares this little uh, hall section. Now, I feel like over here, in the future, if you wanted to, you could probably put up a door or, or some way to uh, separate this. And then, um, you know, if somebody, if somebody uh, needed like two rooms, you know, they would have two rooms plus a half bath. So they would only have to um, uh, take a shower or whatever someplace else. So kind of nice. And I think for somebody that might have um, a relative uh, living with them or, um, oh wow, it's really coming down, a lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
a lot of rain. Um, so I think for the uh, 2,000 square feet, I think it's really um, trying to section nicely, and I think that it offers a lot, um, a lot of flexibility, and also for the future too. So. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, check out my website, richnodalhomes.com or thegrowingnew.com. Have a great day. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service, paid for by the builder, free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models anything that they can match up at the time of contract they may say you cannot use a realtor please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact you see how this works when i went to purchase my first house i was given terrible advice everybody told me i had to pay for a realtor which is just not true i had no realtor and it was terrible from start to finish it was exhausting i was treated poorly at sales offices and after i signed my contract the salesperson basically vanished on me it was just a terrible experience when i purchased my second house I knew I needed a realtor so I started searching I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive but they were just high pressure sales they were telling me to go to the builder tell them I'm your realtor when you pick out the house you want contact me and I'll come down and help you they would show me two homes three homes ask me which one do I want to buy many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes many of the realtors that are selling these homes it's like they don't even read what you wrote so my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's gonna be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was gonna be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still wanna find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's gonna spot something different. I would even potentially hire two inspection companies or maybe more to look over a house. Just some quick tips, just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video. Mm -hmm.